Of course I'm muted. It's a tradition now. The wife makes me mute my microphone. She doesn't like to be heard on air. The elusive wife. Am I still muted? I'm not still muted. No, I'm not. La, 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 la. <laughs> Pretty sure you can hear me. You guys can hear me, right? You're just messing with me? Okay, there we go. Now be your wiggles is just messing with me again. Oh, uh, let's see. So, how's your day been? Mine is uh, often happens for whatever reason on Monday. Is my brain started working about uh, midnight. Went to bed at 9.30. Uh, brain started working at midnight. Woke me up. Thinking of ideas. 1 o'clock I gave up. Got up. Came downstairs and started work. So I'm in my 13th hour. Yeah. Got it. Aloha, Lancel. Hey, you got a login reward. Did we, does anyone know, did we get patch notes out? I'm probably supposed to do those with the burning toad being out. Ah, the most boring scene again. I need, need to send out some cloaks and start answering some emails. So I'm going to make this, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this a fairly short day. I'll try to do, uh... Rapid fire prizes here, but I'm only going to stream until three. One thousand three, no notes. Uh, I'm only going to tame until three. Ugh, tame. Reading chat. Uh, I'm only going to stream until three, and then I'll try and get caught up on these emails. And also, I know I've got the list of people I need to send out cloaks to. Leave fireball as it is. I'm guessing that means it's OP if you're yelling at me to leave it as it is. Because you're worried I might change it. And hello. Hello, Twilight Tempest. Uh, so the question bot is back up and working. That's for those who joined early. You'll see a lot of spam from me yelling at the question bot. Trying to fix it. And yes, as uh, Elwin said, any language that uses white spaces is the control, like the, the a single white space can mess things up. And it's not even just a white space. Like yeah, the last one I had was like copy and pasted something, but I was in note and it didn't copy and paste it right. It turned tabs into spaces and then tabs is spaces. No, you can't do that. And... Lancel, the old cloak or the new cloak? Lancel, for you, I will let you pick either one. Or I'll send you both, maybe. Because uh, the new cloak is out. I'm not sure. It won't be. The stats won't be on it yet. Uh, but I can start sending it out now. But the new cloak is in. Uh, maybe not as cool as plus five taming. Yeah, and Elwin Moon, I, again, this was nightmarish getting all that stuff set up and it turned out i had several problems one of which was i had to install some stuff for unity for visual studio to get the profiler stuff going and i was in there and i clicked a bunch of different like stuff and visual studio installed its own version of uh python and stomped the version that i had uh hey no problem flare uh, but anyway, so I got that resolved, and that was actually one of the big things that had been causing problems. But apparently I did not copy the latest version of scripts when I copied things over. But yes. The bites hurt. You should get uh, Devil Cult down there to guard you while you tame. 
He seems to have no problems with the bites. Uh, let's see. I'm in a horrible looking place. I was told if I went to... Uh, Ordinus Mortis. I'll go check on uh, Baron's Reach and see if anyone else has moved in there. Pimp those guys a little bit. Do, do, do. I was told there is a Lord British's garden or something out. Oh, I don't have the raffle up. Let me get the raffle up. I guess that should be first on my list. Oh, and I'm on Bilbo. Bilbo! Bilbo Baggins. Oh, I will never sell you one of these. You know why? Look at all that crap I'd have to send you with our horrible email system. No way. Uh, let's start it off instead with a uh, epic juniper tree. Epic annoy your neighbor's trees, more like it. Purchase. Nope, somebody's texting me about some garden. Ah, oh, the garden from last year. Oh, yeah, I remember the garden we went to last year. Okay, so now that's... Did I forget to reset? I forgot to reset, didn't I? All right, well, if the person doesn't... Uh, I'm sure I'll have the same people in here. It'll be fine. Now I'm going to reset it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, now do it. Everybody do it again. Nubby Ear Wiggles, Taiki Vitray, Draken Nerudu, Jerikith, Eric Rules, and Vino Corlin, you guys are six and seven. You are you are out. I had the I hadn't cleared the list. I'd changed the name of the thing that was in there, but I hadn't cleared the list, so I I don't know what the overlap between a Sunday afternoon stream or Sunday evening stream and a uh, Monday morning stream is. So shaky. I need to go make another pass at that. Those weather files are just a nightmare to touch, though. Uh, Vespers, I can take care of that for you. Hold on, I gotta find this garden. It wasn't like off in the boonies or something. Is it over here? That's cool, but that's not it. I have to run around. Bilbo. Oh wait, somebody's texting me to tell me where it is. I know it's a maze. I remember the maze. I just didn't remember where it was. That's around here somewhere. Nope. It's a good place for big maze. Hey, thank you very much, Iron Fist Warhammer. Oh, and Snugsy one. I think I missed you guys earlier. Da -na 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 -na. Hey, thank you very much, Megatron. Somewhere over here, maybe? All right, hold on. West. I'm told West. 
your other west. All right, I'm just gonna zone west of my place. <laughs> Ran right by it. Ah. Hey, new location discovered, Novia. Yes, I'm teleporting to you now. Ah, the maze. Yeah, because it's all decos, uh, the way we do loading is we don't load the decos until you get to a certain distance of stuff, and we just kind of background and and uh, have that as low priority loading in the background stuff. So the bad news is that means that you won't see it because there's not like a house here that'll make it pop in or anything. Uh -huh. But anyways, this is open now if you guys want to come check this out. Very nice. Let's see. Hey, thank you very much, needing one. All right, I'm not gonna try to do the maze right now. I was gonna see if I could memorize it and get through it. But... Instead, I'll just come to the bar and skip ahead. I think I just saw a shadow. I think this is the garden that they made for Lord British's birthday last year. Needs a few touches, they say. All right, uh, and again, the question. Question script is working again, only one person. Spinock the Great, Atos, please make different type of dragon heads, make different type of effects to the dragon head dress. Hmm. It's a neat idea. Do we support you again? I'm clueless on a lot of this stuff. Do we, I guess we support having different colored heads? Oh, I see. There's a shortcut. There's a cheater ver or cheater way in. Then there's the actual way in. Oh, there's a book. I'm sailing away. Yeah. Didn't really look at this side here. I'm sure this is making people nauseous. Uh, now I lost track of where I am. Ah, ah. Excellent streaming material here. Uh, all right, maybe it's not. Let's see. E -e 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 -e. Wow. Pretty good maze. Deuce slew. No, no. I see if there's a little garden inside here that but you can't quite get in there.
Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Oh, uh, so this morning I worked on some fun stuff. Again, I mentioned I couldn't sleep, so I got up stupid early. I still haven't sent out the cloaks, though. Uh, but I will get to those here as soon as I wrap up my stream for today. Uh, but the thing I did do was go and convert a few old favorite rooms. Two of them will go live here shortly. Uh, next patch, probably 1,004. I don't think we've kicked one off. Burning Toad is out of town. He normally kicks off build after build after build. I think we're going to wait and try and wrap them all up in one. Oh, I am tired. Hmm. Uh, but uh, let me go show you some rooms. Let's see, I think I'm going to have to jump over to the Unity Editor, which is not even open right now. Hold on one second. Let me get in there and I'll show you, I'll surprise you. You guys can play Name That Room. I'll go place it in a little test dungeon. Hey, I got some more questions in here. Demeron123, funny you should ask about the, the elf rooms. Uh, so I have some rooms. Two new rooms that are set up that are recognizable as elf rooms. I do not have the encounter versions checked in yet. Uh, I'm going to get the dungeon room live so you guys can test because there's always problems with the, the various dungeon rooms. Uh, and then if that all goes good, then I'll check in the actual turn on the elf the encounter version of them uh, But I'll probably give a few of them out to uh, some dungeon tester type people. I Know the one of them has some deco surface Concerns Come on unity Come on unity Oh yeah, and I said I was going to do lots of uh, giveaways today, so let's start by doing that now. Hope you're raffled up. You got five seconds to raffle up if you're not. Raffle, 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 raffle. Get rid of this epic jun juniper tree. Epic juniper goes to... And... Hey, he good. It picked somebody I don't know. Ak Akin Ma and two people got in right after I raffled. Sorry, guys. I'll start up another one immediately. Akin Ma. Oh, it's Mac. What? In disguise. All right, you get an uh, epic annoying tree. Epically annoying. Dare I say. Uh, let's see, hold on. Let me pick the next thing here. I think next up we will do the... Hmm, <laughs> I just want that thing. We change out any of this junk? Ooh, is that new? Cannon 3 pack. Uh, I did change these. Probably in the next build, they'll probably be placeable in towns. Ruined furniture set. Let's see. I think. Isn't there a remote? What's the remote? Remote bank access. There we go. We'll do a remote bank access device because who doesn't want one of those? And it's open. 
Corsevius, T Branch, Jericheth, Mr. Xerinx, Zier and My Slaroni. That San Francisco or possibly Greek treat. I Star Strider, Cypher, and Black. Sorry, you guys were sixth and seventh out. Uh, oh, all right, I got Unity open here in the background. Let me go to my test level real quick, and I'll place it, and you guys can guess. We'll see who can guess which ones these are. Oh, there's a third one I started this morning as well. All right, let me get in there, and then I will uh, swap over my camera. Window capture... Unity. Oh, don't show that yet. I'm gonna spoil my surprises. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Uh, yeah, I've got my question script again, so I can start reading questions, I guess, during my dead time. Can we break up the blank sign crafting? I need blank ground signs and I'm getting ground wall and hanging. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never been a big fan of doing the packages. I kind of understand why uh, they have it that way. A lot of it was just because of how things were in the store. It's like the store was already overwhelming with no search feature on the web. And I think those are kind of some of the, its relics from from that time where we just haven't had time to go back and break up more stuff. I'd like to see more stuff uh, brought up. Ring of Cat's Grace is still having the same bugs as in release 40. I don't know this bug. I'll go pull up that number and see what it says though. All right, I think I may already have them placed in this one. This is my little test dungeon I was working on this morning, so let me uh, also, I noticed this dungeon, I think it's probably several of them. The foyer for the dungeon is determining the mood lighting for the entire dungeon. I don't know if I like that. Uh, that's just how it was set up where the scene color, there's kind of a, like a scene ambient color, and the scene ambient color is being determined by this initial rune. Uh, I'm probably going to go change that. That'll probably upset some people here. You guys ready? Oh, yeah, baby. But yeah, you can see what I'm talking about, that whole blue glow on the floor. That's only this noticeable on this particular uh, map. I'm not going to walk back all the way around. So this other one I'd been resisting putting in just because I knew it would result in people getting trapped and problems and chaos. Uh, but then it's like, well, it's a player dungeon. You're doing what you want to. I'll just let you do it. So here you go. You ready to see the other one that's going to be on in the next patch? You ready? You guys ready? It's hard to get a lot of drama behind these things. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Again, glowy blue floor. Oh, yuck. I would avoid this one just because of that. Hey, people are doing some things. Uh, let's see. Oh, Legion of Myth Raid. I got a follow from uh, Janel something. I got to go over here and see. If it's too much junk for me. Oh, do I have the wrong Oh, you guys. Oh. I've been showing the wrong one there. Okay, well then there's even more. I did that intentionally for drama, but uh, thank you, Eric Rules, Ice Starter, Ice Star Strider, and all the other people for pointing out that as usual, I'm an idiot. Okay, back to the uh, other editor thing there. Now we can look. Oh, hold on. I get back over to a place, a safe place. Yeah, so you guys have no idea what I was talking about. All right, well, here you go. Dun, 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 let me transform transformers more than meets the eye. Let me expand this thing. Uh, 
All right, so here's one of the rooms uh, that's in, and I've tested it. The well-known, this is one that's uh, already has, I've got the Elf Encounter set up for it, but I haven't checked it in just because I want to get the room out for at least a day so I can get some testing on it. Uh, yeah, so this was looking for elf, high-level elf content. There's not a ton of it in the game. So here's the other one that I didn't uh, tell people I was going to do that's going to be a surprise. And wait till you see the third one. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, in case you're wondering how many, the answer is 16. There are 16 entrances and exits here. Some of these, I'm not even sure how you're going to make use of them, but... Again, you'll have to build back connections and alleys off those things. The one thing I did have to do is I did have to put a one section long hallway off of each of the entrances. Uh, just to get it so it worked nice with collision because there was too much extra junk hanging off. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's maybe a 30 five point room again trying to set it for how much it costs to render it's got a lot of geometry uh, but yeah this one for people who are actually trying to make some cool dungeons you know this is a good starting one here you too can make your maze now of course I made in the rise I use this uh, to confuse the the heck out of everybody but just imagine I only use one in the rides. You guys could place multiples of these things. You, I mean, you could really have just like the the layer of a thousand doors. And yeah, and some of these things you'll probably to actually be able to connect up other stuff with it. Like get to that one. Like you may have to stack some crap on there or get up there. Or you can just set that as your starting entrance, I guess. Let me come back out here. Yeah, that's entrance number 10. There's 11. Uh, let me go, there's 12, 13, 14, that looks like the top bridge, 15, 16. So yes, yeah, so there are 16 entrances to the, uh, to that room. Uh, Cloak, I will add, uh, add, uh, there will be a couple that will be pretty big ones here. Yeah, and this I may, since it's not live yet, I may go turn up the number on it. Uh, just as I look, I'm reminded of how much all this geometry, how much all these, uh, like pillars and stuff take up. And then the bigger thing in here is this one has two, it has to have two big lights up there. But yeah, I'll give it to you guys. The stuff I'm looking for testing on is like, I just want to make sure, I'm pretty sure it's all going to work, but make sure you can come and connect up door to door to door to door. Why did I not see my thing on the door? Where's my thing? Well, there's one reason why not. Looks like those are not working. Let me guess, it's just on the other side of the, the wall. No. Where are my hammer and anvils? Oh, I'm in the room. That's why I can't connect anything. Well, it should let me get... It should let me uh, connect to the next room. Hmm, I may already have a bug before I even hand it off to you guys. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Ballthorn. I wish I could turn up the font size on that just a little bit. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Hold on. Global. Dark mode. Yeah, I got that. Mod tools. Yep.
Ah, I just want the text a little bit bigger. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send out a couple of these. Uh, obvious, uh, I think people know at least Tazar is probably going to get one of each of these. Uh, but it looks like in this first version, it's already going to be broke. At least I cannot uh, add more. Hold on, let me come back out here and try something. Hmm. Catherine Rose can have whatever she wants. For testing, of course. Yeah, that's... Uh... That makes me sad. Alright, let me do that. Let me come back over here and do the... Stone Dungeon. Let me see if it was just freaking out on me because I didn't have any. Ah, why is it not here? I had to redo these things about 20 different times, so I'm... All right, well, I'm going to have to go look into that next, I guess. Uh, but they are in there, so at least you can place this part, and then when I fix them, you'll be able to connect them up. Uh, this one, I know, is lacking some deco surfaces. It has it for all the horizontal surfaces. It does not have it for all the walls yet. That was the other thing I still had on my to-do list for it. This one over here has, I think I did a pretty good job on adding the deco surfaces, so you should be able to deco this one every which way. Uh, like even all this stuff is decoable. Those are decoable. The walls up there are decoable. Obviously, the floor up there is decoable. I'd never noticed this hideous thing before. Now I notice it every single time. Boo! Ah, all right. But anyways getting close so the third one uh third room isn't ready to be hooked up yet but it's close i was fighting through some problems on it and uh that is actually the center shaft to the rise uh again i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with it but uh it was doable so the other thing i was experimenting with this morning is another thing you dungeon people I know want badly, which is a uh, just a deco spawner that you can just place a deco and like basically you can place it anywhere you want to, and then if you're in adventure mode, it'll spawn a creature at that spot. Uh, so they will be non-aggro versus other creatures. Uh, fuzzy uh, Lark apparently likes that idea. Let me hide that. It's hiding everything. Oh, and uh, let's see. I missed some more people there. Uh, Galarn Hammer Throw, thank you very much for the 200 bits. I Star Strider, thank you for the 100 bits. Dices, thank you for the 201 bits. Oh, yeah, we're at the first day, so. Uh, Eric Rules, you're number 10 there with 9 bits. All the bits you gave to yell at me about stuff. And Fuzzy Lark, thank you very much. You are on top. Quick, take a screenshot. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Back over to the other stuff. But anyways, yeah, so the rise cha or center chamber, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it because that's another one. It's very much like the library where it's really easy to trap yourself in it. Of course, you always have the log out and log back in and start on Novia. So it's never like you're really going to be trapped. Thank you very much, Kenneth123. And I'll be getting you a cloak uh, a little bit later. Uh, but... 
again, trying to figure out how I want to work that because it's a lot of work to get those things to connect up. That's a lot of passageways. So it may just be that it's just for the, the hardcore people out there. Thank you very much, I Star Strider. I know you just wanted to be on top for a little while there. <laughs> but anyway, so that one will be in there. The other thing I was thinking about adding was the having a teleport at the very bottom that takes you to the very top. Uh, which may make for some fun PvP stuff as well. Because you can basically do the up and then everybody, you know, cascading and chasing down. Uh, oh, the other thing was the, uh, the deco spawner stuff. So yeah, so I was looking into what challenges are in that. So the one thing we would have to do on those is we would have to, or I would have to make them so they don't give loot, they don't give rewards. Uh, so those would be really more for pure dungeon crafting and story crafting or just to mess with people. Uh, or to do the, let's see what happens if we place 20 of these stupid things in a troll room. So those would be the just for fun type things. Uh, but it looks like I have everything I need and everything was kind of working. But I'll spend some more time on that maybe over the uh, 4th of July break. Break. Uh, let's see though. We got... Let's see, it's already 2.40. I'm already getting close to when I said I was going to stop, so I better better uh, do a winner here. Let me do give a winner, and then I will, uh, while you guys raffle up and spam my chat, although I have my questions now, so I don't have to worry about that, I will uh, sing, sing, sing a song. Oh, that's one I could do. Uh, Uh, all right, so let's do the giveaway here. You guys are all raffled up, right? All right. Uh, Radian Woodlander, it's funny you mentioned that because I have on my list, my short list of things to do is talk about auto withdrawal from bank if in town. That would be for crafting stuff. Uh, so I'm going to investigate that and see what people think about it, uh, but already on my list. I know that's a, a tedious thing, but then what with the people who are the uh, OCD people who have like the exact bags lined up and stuff in the exact bags and they know exactly what chest and all that type stuff. All right, let's um, close in the giveaway and use the question thing. Questions back up. This one is, t no, I'm not going to give you another thing, Mac. All right, I'm going to give one to Mac, and I'm going to give one to Twilight Tempest as well. What, what was it? Anyways, oh, remote bank device? Okay. <laughs> remote bank access device to Mac. And whoever this other person is, totally rigged. <laughs> what is the chance? Uh, there's like, a, what, like... Probably 120 names in here. Does it actually say? I don't think it says anywhere on here how many people have actually entered. Uh, Twilight Tempest. I'm guessing you're Twilight Tempest. Uh, well, I looked at your name and it all just runs together. I wasn't actually trying to read it, but yes. Yes, I know. Uh, let me pick a new prize. Uh, I'll make this my last prize, so I'll make it something okay. I'm not going to say it's awesome or anything, but... Oh, since I'm trying to get people to get some uh, dungeon action going on, maybe I need to do the... Uh, do some dungeon stuff. Oh, except they're always such a pain to send out. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, you know what I'm going to do this? I'm going to do one. Uh, I don't do this too often. I will give out.
I have no idea what those are worth. Here you go. I will give out a level two troll, lich, and elf totem to the winner. For those who don't know, that's the dungeon system. I guess there's a chance that there could be people here who don't know everything about the game already and are just trying to make sure I work on whatever feature they want next. Uh, but we have a uh, player-made dungeon system, and that's you can actually have encounter rooms in there where there's uh, creatures and they have loot and stuff like that. You can level those up by killing that type of creature either in your own dungeon, you get them at a lower rate, or outside and you get essences off them and you can craft those into totems. Then you can craft totems into bigger totems than the bigger totems. Bigger the totem, the higher level the creatures in the dungeon are. So anyways, that's the quick brain dump of that system. Uh, so anyways, for uh, I Star Strider here, Oh my god, take a sip of water. While you guys are spamming up my chat with the raffle, raffle, raffle. Raindrops are falling on my head. Look, even in game. And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed, nothing seems to fit. Oh, those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. So I just did me some talking to the sun. And I said I didn't like the way he got things done. Sleeping on the job. Oh, those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. But there's one thing I know. The blues they send to meet me won't defeat me. It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. All right, that's all I'm going to do. That's, I don't think I've ever heard that song all the way through, really. B.J. Thomas. I didn't even know who was, who sang that. My Slaroni, this is my day job. I just got 1337 bits to sing that song. So, therefore, definition of professional is someone who gets paid to do something. Technically, I'm not getting that money, but... Somebody is, possibly in the form of beer. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so the Rise main chamber is the next one I'm hooking up, and I'm trying to figure out which parts I want to preserve. Like, do I keep the, the problem I have right now is the bottom is actually a little chunk of terrain, weirdo terrain thing that I, I made just for it. Uh, but I'm going to have to, I'll probably pick up the dragon stuff oh but that was the other thing that woke me up this morning at one o'clock and made me not get back to sleep was the other type of deco i think i can add is adding a fog deco uh that is a uh deco you can place down that will create an area of fog so you can actually use that to add you know some environment stuff to your own dungeon uh, particle emitters are fairly expensive, but I think we can sum to a fairly decent uh, coal level. But I think it'll be another great one to add. And, and it's also one of those things, of course, I'm sitting there like thinking like, yes, I can craft my master dungeon. Uh, you know, what stuff would I do? I still need to make that happen, uh, which is a lot of stuff. But, of course, I'm thinking that. And then you guys are immediately thinking like, that's going to be awesome at the dance party. I know how you guys work. That's all right. I enjoy the dance party. They are the a great place to go profile things. Uh, let's see. Oh, and thank you, uh, Tim Shia. I think that's right. And also thank you, uh, Henry Tarling. 202, that's a rather odd number. And Dice is one bit, uh-oh. Oh no, you're not yelling at me at something. I thought I was doing something stupid again. Uh, let's see. Henry Tarling, one bit. Let's see, what to do now? Oh, and uh, Gaylorn Hammer Throw. Man, you guys have... Uh, you're making it rain on me. Is that for the make it rain for the singing in the rain? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to pull out some My Fair Lady next now after singing 
singing in the rain. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. <laughs> Next time. Uh, let me go over and answer some questions here, because I am not long for this world, or at least this stream. Oh, man, you guys are back in your your Q, uh, question mode here. Already up to 29 questions. Let's see. Uh, where was I? Let's see. That's probably one. Can there be a quest involving escorting a duck across a zone and trying to keep him or her alive? Oh. <laughs> so, I I mean, I, I think most people know I've played a lot of different MMOs, which is pretty much mandatory. Uh, if you want to be able to think and have a broad experiences to pull from for figuring stuff out. But that was one of those in World of Warcraft. Uh, which I rarely mention, uh, but that was one of those in there that kind of, anytime, when I played it originally, I was just like, oh, this is infuriating, but then it now is like, after being an MMO dev for a long time, I'm like, that is hilarious, because people are always complaining about how slow NPCs are, and how they're like, come on, let them catch up, you know, you're losing your pet, you're losing whatever. Uh, well, there's one in, uh, I think it was in the desert in WoW somewhere, uh, in the initial release that was a you had to escort a turtle across the desert which I thought was uh, now I think is hilarious uh, but yes a duck that would be uh, <laughs> that would be a, an interesting one we got the duck model we can def definitely do duck pathing uh, let's see Make it so other avatars can kill it. I mean, that'd be a fun one just to have like a uh, escort the ducks game. That even if I don't put any tech in there, just having a scene where ducks walk across a PvP zone. I mean, that right there is already inviting you guys to uh, build your own game around that. Like every five minutes, uh, 20 ducks start walking from one spot on the map to another spot on the map. Let you guys keep score. <laughs> one side's trying to keep them alive, one side's trying to kill them. Problem is, it'd be way too easy for players to kill them. We know what you do. We know how you work. Uh, so they'd have to have something crazy like m magic immunity ducks or something like that. Or uh, can't be uh, hit at a range greater than something. But yeah, that's the... I like the idea of just having that type of escort stuff in there. And like I said, even if sometimes it's just we need to give you the thing and you guys can figure out the fun way to make use of it. Uh, kind of like the Gust Ball. I've not seen the Gust Ball. Did, did uh, one and only actually improve things on it? Has anyone played Gust Ball since, since the uh, change went in? Because I honestly have not seen it. I know they had a Gust, Gust Ball tournament this weekend, so I'm assuming it wasn't too horrible. Yeah, it'd be a fun one too, having something big like that where you have to escort something big across a uh, a map. And it wouldn't even be that tough having two guys where you could have one guy give the quest for kill it and one guy give the quest for escort it. And the, the quest for escort it doesn't show up until the quest for kill it shows up. Probably be too easy to work as a team to do that though. So it rolls around on the ground. Yeah, I was wondering what it did to the, the game. We can actually set properties on it now so we can make it slower or do other weird stuff if we want to. Make it move faster or be heavier or whatever we want. Uh, escort a wood deck. That'd be a good one. <laughs> uh, let's see. So here's one. Vahadar. Hey, Galorn Hammer Throw. Thank you very much. Uh, asks about Cat's Ring of Cat's Grace has a Jira associated with it. That he has kept the Jira around, so this is obviously near and dear to him, so I'm going to look and see what this Jira is. Uh, but it sounds like Ring of Cat's Grace not working. Oh, 
Oh, spelling error. Uh, so it looks like this was closed. <laughs> Hold on, I'm checking on it. This is closed by people not with a company any longer. Kappa Kahu, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, the uh, bug was uh, added by Lum the Mad. Let me go look. Hold on. And so the claim, I say the claim is. That ring of cat's grace text replacement for the word cat does not pronounce human. Cat with a capital C gives human. Oh. Sure, I'll fix it. Cat grace. Only because it's easy. Uh, I'd say it's easy. Let's see. Words. No, that's not word replacement. That's words it says. Hold on. Wait for it. Chat filters. Let's see. So the chat filters for this are... I guess I can show you guys this screen. Whoop. All right. You guys ready to see this awesomeness? Currently, the chat filters are now, if you're wearing a cat's grace ring, now gets replaced with meow. Now and meow. Very gets turned into meowy. Very gets turned into meowy. Cat gets turned into human. And cat gets turned into human. That looks accurate. I think that's fixed. I think that's actually fixed. You were wrong on your cat's grace thing. Wrong, I say. All right, and I only got time for a few more questions here because I still need to go do a few things and I'm trying to get off at a reasonable time here today. Uh, but uh, Vahadar, I call you out. It works or it should be, it looks like it's set correctly. Oh, let me actually let me check double check one more time now that I went and closed all those I wonder if the problem is it's not looking at case I think it pays attention to case Hold on, this is a super important bug. I gotta fi figure this out. So let me come back over here. I want it to stop. Oh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this. I'll have to move this up. Stop raining right now. No, it replaced with now. Okay, there we go. Human, human. Wait a minute. Is it the other way? You guys are probably telling me how stupid I am in chat right now. Oh, so it replaces cat with human. Can I have to can has? <laughs> yes, it looks like it's supposed to be the other way is the actual problem. I'm not the one who closed it.
And yes, it can do regex stuff in there. Uh, let's see. Can I have Nope. Can has. Done. There we go. Oh, perfect to perfect. All right, we'll do that one too. I'll just do lowercase that. Can has, let's see. Oh yeah, I did misspell that. You were correct. Can has, okay, there we go. All right, there we go. I got some more things in there for you guys. Right meow. Uh, yeah, I think we were watching, or I was watching Super Troopers. Ken and I were up at work late or something, and I turned on uh, Netflix Super Troopers because we were waiting at work for a build. That's where the uh, Cat's Grace Ring stuff comes from. Like, sure would be cool if I had some uh, text replacement stuff in there so I could replace some text. Yes, shenanigans. Uh, let's see. Let me save that and check that in for you guys. And I have now fixed a 28, a two-year-old, more than two-year-old bug. Super critical. <laughs> Next up, I need to go and change that ring into a uh, tiered ring. Uh, because it's a safe ball, fall bonus, I'll be able to make the legendary on that pretty legendary. Dare I say legendary. Uh, let's see. Let me check my work stuff, see if anyone's yelling at me about anything. All right. No one at work is yelling at me about anything. Good, good, good. Uh, so I think I'm going to do this final giveaway thing here. And uh, call it a, well, call it a day with you guys. I'm going to try to go send out some stuff. Cloaks and stuff. Oh yeah, Bilbo's rich. Rich beyond my wildest dreams. I have all of Smog's gold. Is that right? Yeah, Smog was Bilbo. Uh, yeah, now I need to go make a uh, sting artifact. A little pointy sword. Ring of invisibility. I guess that's like a ring of cuddlekin. Uh, but let me go check on Baron's Reach one last time before I head out for the day and see if they've made any progress there and to pimp those guys while I'm doing this. Uh, for those who don't know, Baron's Reach picked up their entire town and is rebuilding it from scratch, uh, trying to learn some lessons from stuff they did last time and make it the perfect town. Uh, it was looking pretty cool when we were here. That's enough rain. Set weather override clear. How am I going to show off the town from space if I can't cheat? So this is the town of Baron's Reach. And if you, the message of the day is all pots are free or plots are free to claim. Road to city. They are currently rebuilding. So anyways, so if you're looking for a town, this one is uh, currently rebuilding. You can already see there's a couple dozen people who've already claimed in here. Uh, so it should be a, uh, the joint should be jumping. And it's built on one of the less common ones, which is a swamp with a wall. So if uh, nothing else, you can start your day off. Ah, and the new town... 
kicking off your weight loss habit, you can just go jog around the fence all day long. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, come check out Baron's Reach. And uh, grab a lot. They've got row lots in here. Come grab a row lot. Steps walked. A list. I've already said that. I've been telling Bobby I want steps walked. Yeah, he keeps thinking I'm joking on some of these things when I tell him things. I think sometimes he thinks I'm just joking about it. No, I want that. I want I want how many steps someone has walked or walked. Oh, and Kappa Karu. Kar Karu. Thank you very much. Crops watered, yes. All the tedious things. We need to have all the tedious things up there to reward people. Yeah, I'd love to see how many miles. I think I'm going to, you know what, I'm right now I'm committing to this next release. Uh, I'm not sure if Bobby's going to get it in there, but I'm going to log. Uh, I'll add a command so you can see how far you've run in the night. And uh, also add a log message for it so then Bobby has no excuse to uh, not add the, uh, the top list. Siege is defeated. Yep. Oh, Bobby has a bunch of things already on his, his plate. I'll, I'm going to go prioritize some, though. Whiskey's drunk. <laughs> but anyways, huge town here. Lots and lots of room. Uh, they're going to be filling in with some stuff. And, uh, again, this is not their first... Rodeo. I was just thinking the other day, I heard somebody say that again, and the first thing I thought, for whatever reason, was now I kind of want to go to a rodeo, just because I've never been to a rodeo before, and then I can go to the rodeo and say, this is my first rodeo. I can just go around and tell everybody and be really annoying. It is my first rodeo. Uh, but uh, anyways, this is not their first rodeo on uh, building a town. They know what they're doing and laying things out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Vespers. Let me get off the uh, stream and I can come help you with that thing. My stream... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I moved the thing. Don't even know what the thing is. Bam. There we go. Uh, Strider Green, uh, absolutely, I can give you some trophies. I'll just send you the trophies, and you can hand out the trophies. Uh, I may not do the big golden trophies, but I'll do the, I think we've got three variations. Oh no, we may only have a runner-up trophy for those. Uh, but yeah, I can send you some trophies. Uh, but uh, again, come on down to Baron's Reach. Again, you can see there's quite a few people who've already moved in. But uh, still plenty of space, I'm sure. And if you want a row lot, again, they've got row lots all over the place. Go claim one. Uh, but anyways, back to the more important thing. Me getting off. Uh, and let's see. I guess we're going to close. Kelly O'Shea, when you drink a potion, there should be a clear message to the chat to tell if someone is cheating in a PvP uh, attorney. Maybe we can do like a... a I don't even know what you'd call it. A potion canceller. A potion canceller potion that if you drink it, it uh, makes it so heal potions and focus potions don't uh, work on you. I guess they also probably use like poisons. Do you guys allow poisons or not? Anyways, you guys keep raffling up. I'll think on it. Yeah, that'd be a good one to, to have some way to make it big and, and obvious that they were using a potion. And now to plan how to escort the giant wooden duck across a field. 
Need better pet healing. Snugs saying something about taming. I'm shocked. All right, I think that's probably enough people raffling. Oh, come on, you slow pokes. And this one is for, oh, this is for the totems. I gotta go figure out how to summon the totems now. Totem. Let's see. What did I say? I think I said, I'm gonna do, I'll do one of each one. So it's, there we go. Checking out. Okay, you guys have raffled up. You ready? Here we go. Maybe I should sh uh, screw it. No, it's not going to be Mac again. Here we go. Closing the giveaway and picking the winter. Radian Woodlander. Yes! Someone who hasn't won before. Who are you, Radian Woodlander? And if you uh, don't want the totems, I'm sure there's some people out there who'd pay tens of thousands of gold for them. Radiant Woodlander in game. All right. Uh, totems to Radiant Woodlander. All right, I'm going to go send those things out. I'm going to go give uh, Vespers a sex change. Is that what you wanted, Vespers, right? Sex change? Uh, and then uh, I will... Uh, Hopefully send out some cloaks and some other stuff. Go through some of my emails. But I will get caught up. I will, I will. Although some of that stuff may wait until tomorrow because I have been up for 14 hours now. Uh, but uh, guys, again, thank you so much. Thanks for all the support and the bits and the help with stuff. Uh, so far the release has been pretty clean. We got, uh, there's one gate problem. In case you guys didn't know, there's some city gates you can't open. Whoops. Uh, Lord Subtleton thought he had it fixed. He did not have it fixed. Fix fail. Uh, we are working on a fix for that for realsies. You guys can always find ways around those things. Gates, schmates. Let's see. We got Strider. I'm going to try and find, let's see, Strider Green. I don't know that I've ever rated Strider Green. I think I've rated Cleo, dude. I'm going to check each, both of these dudes, and whoever has fewer followers, that's who I'm going to go to. Oh, and actually, Schleife. Let's see if this is in German. Schleife is, sounds like they're doing cool stuff. All right, so... Cleo Dude has 110, Strider Green has 89, Schleife has 21, and Schleife says he's doing Mega Liches, Rise, Ruin, Keep, Spider Queen. That sounds exciting. We should raid this guy. Uh, let's see. S C H L E I P H. All right, guys, we are going to raid Schleife. It will be a big surprise for him. I don't think he knows any of this is coming. Uh, he has the longest name I have ever seen. He should change his name to Long Last Name because it would be shorter than his current la or last name. But guys, again, thank you so much uh, for all the support. We're going to get some more stuff in. Again, I'll try and get those as soon as the next patch goes live. I can hand out some dungeon pieces for testing. Uh, but it looks like I already found one blocker bug on them, so duh. Got to get that working. Kind of know what it is, so it'll be a quick fix. But anyways, I will get a few of those pieces out to a couple of the big dungeon people out there. Uh, Catherine Rose and Tazar and, and uh, maybe Brass Knuckles I'll send one to you. Maybe. Uh, but again, guys, thanks so much. See you tomorrow.